Hey guys, today we will be learning about prepared statement in PHP and MySQL. Now basically, uh, prepared statements is a feature used to execute the same SQL statement repeatedly with high efficiency. Basically, it works like first we uh, send the query to the database with some parameters and at the end when we execute our query, we set, uh, bind the uh, values to the parameter. The main advantage of using this uh, prepared statement is it uh, reduces the parsing time as well as it minimizes bandwidth and one of the most important thing is it provides protections against the SQL injections. So this is my database users and uh, username, email and password and we will be using these prepared statement to enter the data into our database. So first First, defining a variable that is connection there is no password and work is my database now the next thing is uh, statement These question marks are the parameter and later later on we will defining we will uh, bind the values to these parameters so now now <clears throat> in this we prepare our database for this particular query so now the next process is we can uh, set our values or uh, variables that is username some value uh, prepare binding part it is bind parameters here s s s is for first s string s for string i for integer p for block so username email and password In the next process is statement execute and finally closing it Now let's check it. See now we are have our data our data over here. Now let's try to inject some uh, code or a query. Suppose instead of the password, if we write a uh, drop table online now the result would be uh, mm -hmm. oh sorry I just forget to run it
Now it would affect our database, our online database is here. So this provides protection uh, to the uh, SQL injections. So this is basic now in this, it is basically a text or a value and it is not executed by the database. One more thing you need to remember is that in this part, S is for string, I is for integer, and uh, D is for double, and uh, a B is for block, and it should be corresponding with these values. So this is all for today and if you like my video give it a thumbs up and if you have any suggestion or any uh, thing do post in comments. A sample project is given in the description. So thanks for watching.